this session we are going to see before deleting any items or products we should be getting one confirmation message okay we really want to delete that or not so for that we are going to create model okay you can use jquery there are plenty and plenty of ways of displaying the models or confirming that one but i am going to use the simple thing because in this entire project i have not used jquery so i'm not going to confuse with jquery and with lot of javascript okay if you are not aware of jquery then it will be very difficult for you to understand this one so what i'm going to do i'm just going to do the simple thing so that we get confirmation box and when we click on s yes, only then the data should be deleted and when i click on no the data should not be deleted so that we don't lose valuable data okay because in this whatever i have deleted the items directly when i click on the delete button the data will be deleted i will be showing you in one page the same steps you can follow and you can add in another pages as well okay now i'll be telling you and also we are going to use bootstrap model to display that model okay when i click on that delete button i should be getting pop up model in that i should be getting are you sure you want to delete the items or products whatever it is yes and no buttons okay two buttons we are going to create okay let us work on uh, deleting brands itself now i'll just come to delete brands and inside this we have written this entire query and here we have not given any condition we have not given any confirmation okay directly if i click on delete button the data will be deleted okay but it's not useful whenever we are making bigger projects then this kind of confirmation is very very necessary so that we don't lose our information okay now delete brands now i'll just come to a uh, view brands inside this view brands we are having this delete button you can see i have this delete button edit button and all the data is been displayed okay this is view brands inside this we are having serial number brand title edit option and delete option and here as soon as i click on delete okay the data will be deleted okay without getting any confirmation the data will be deleted and when i hover on this below you can see delete brands is equal to 1 now what i am going to do in place of this i am just going to display the model so for that i'll just come to bootstrap website i'll just search for bootstrap model here and i'll just open this one okay just scroll down okay whichever model you want you can just copy let me just uh, okay let me just take this one now when i just show you the demo you can see when i click on this i am having all this data okay i don't need this one let me just check for other one okay i'll take this one okay this is fine i'll just copy this entire model okay let me just copy and here below this table inside view brands dot php below table i'm just going to paste the entire thing i'll save this now i'll come here i'll refresh this one now when i click on this you can see the model is not getting opened but here when i click on this it is getting opened why because we have just linked css and javascript okay we should be linking pop ups okay still we have to link many links from bootstrap so i'll come here i'll just close this one i'll be coming to get started okay we have linked the css from here i'm just going to copy these three links we are having jquery we are having this popper and this bootstrap i'll just copy this one i'll just come to index.php inside this we have included this one so now below this i'm just going to paste this okay if you want to remove this then also you can remove as of now i'm just not going to remove and here we are having the css link as well you can see bootstrap css now i'll refresh this one now when i click on this you can see the model is working but css styling is not been applied because maybe i'm using the different version i'll just copy this css and i think below this i'm just going to paste okay you can do trails okay you can do as many as trails you can see the color the entire color is been changed let me just come to insert products view products okay i don't want to do this one what i'm going to do i'm just going to remove this okay i don't need this one because i don't want to spoil the colors i'll just refresh this one okay this is fine okay even if i click on this okay this is fine for me but i don't need this button so i'm just going to remove so i don't need the css as well so i'll come to delete brands okay sorry i'll just open view brands and from here what i'm going to do first i'm just going to remove this entire thing and also i don't need this complete model header i'll just remove this one then inside this model body i'll just write one h4 i'll just write here are you sure you want to delete this are you sure you want to delete this and here i'll just write here no and inside instead of this save changes i'll be writing here s i'll save this 
I will just close this one. Now I will refresh this one. Now when I click on this, you can see here I am having, are you sure you want to delete this? Here I am having no and here I am having yes. Okay, now I don't need this one. Okay, this button I don't need here. Instead of this launch demo model, whenever I click on this delete, I should be getting that model. So here inside this you can see for button we are having type is equal to button. Okay, inside this TD we have given this anchor tag. So what I am going to do, this entire thing whatever I am having inside the button, I will just copy and here inside this I am just going to paste. Then for this we are having this class, I will just copy this one, I will just remove this class from here and inside this class I am just going to paste that one text light. Now I will save this, okay before that let me just remove this button, I will just comment this one. Okay, whatever data I was having inside this button, I have just copied and I have pasted inside this anchor tag. Okay, we are having data toggle, we are having data target, whatever name we have given inside the data target, that should be matching with this ID. Only then the model will be working. Now, I will refresh this one, you can see that button has gone. Now, when I just click on this delete, you can see the model is getting popped up. Okay, now I do not need this one, okay, these buttons I do not need. Uh, let me just remove this. I will save, I will refresh this one, okay, now you can see only icon I am having, okay, what I have done, I have just removed that btn, btn primary because I have given type is equal to button, now I will come here, I will refresh this one, now whenever I hover, again I am getting the brand id is equal to 2, delete brand is equal to 3, okay, same, okay, everything is working fine, what I have done, I have just copied the model from bootstrap, I have linked javascript links and also if you want to link css, you can link that one and just copy entire model and paste here. From here, just remove this button, we do not need this one. Whatever data we were having inside that button, I have just pasted inside this TD. Okay, so that whenever I click on delete button, this model should be opened because inside this data target, I have given this one. Okay, now it is fine. Now if I just change this data model, I will save this, I will refresh this one. Now when I click on this, you can see the model will not be opened. Whatever name we have given here, that should be exactly matching with this one. Only then it is going to work or else it will not work. Now I will refresh this one. Now when I click on this, you can see the model is working. Okay, now you can see here, the model is working completely fine. Now what I am going to do, now inside this anchor, okay, inside this button, I am just going to create one anchor tag. I will just write here href. I will just uh, give index.php index.php and whenever I click on this, I should be redirected to same page. So, here I will be writing view brands. Okay, whenever this is active, only then this page will be displayed. So, I will be redirected to this page and here I am just closing this anchor tag. I will save this. Now, I will refresh this one. I will just hover on this. You can see whenever I hover on this, below I am having index.php question mark view brands. As soon as I click on this, I will be redirected to same file. Now, for this one, for this anchor tag, I am just going to give the class, okay, because the text is not visible. So, here I will be giving text light and also I am just going to give text decoration to be none, okay, because that underline I do not need. So, I am just going to read. So, I will just write here text decoration to be none. I will refresh this one. Now, when I click on this, you can see here I am having no. As soon as I click on no, the data will not be deleted and I am redirected to same file. Now, for this yes, whenever I hover on this, I need some data. So, what I am going to do, okay, this is my entire button and for this button, I am just going to add anchor tag here. Now, here I will be adding anchor tag. I will just close this one and after S, I am just going to close this anchor tag. Now, inside this anchor tag, whatever data we are having inside this anchor tag, I am just going to copy. And inside this, I am just going to paste that one. Okay, don't get confused what I am doing. Now, inside this anchor tag, whenever I hover on this, I will be getting this particular ID. And when I click on this delete ID, this variable will be active. Whenever I click on this ID, whenever I click on S, I will be redirected to this particular page because inside that we have written entire delete code. Okay, so the data will be deleted. For this, from here, I am just going to remove type is equal to button. Okay, I will just explain you what I have done. Don't get confused. Then we are having class is equal to text light so that the data will be in white color and also I need text decoration to be none. So from here I am just going to copy that one and just copy from here and here I will be pasting that one. 
text decoration to be none okay for this i don't need this data model and data target i'll remove this i'll save now i'll refresh this one i'll click on this now when i hover on s you can see in below i'm having index.php question mark delete brands is equal to 5 because we have already accessed the brand id and that brand id we are just storing here so whenever i hover on this i'll be getting index.php delete brands is equal to this particular id to whatever id this particular product is having that id will be displayed to me as soon as i click on that i will be redirected to this particular page okay inside this page what i have done i have just accessed okay what query we have written exactly the same thing and i'm just deleting the data okay this is the simple way of deleting again i'll just explain you whatever i have done first i have just copied js link and i have pasted inside index.php because all the files i have included in the same file so only one time i'm just going to include that one so once it is done i have copied the entire model from bootstrap and here i have just pasted that one and for that button whatever data we are having inside this anchor tag i have just pasted that one type is equal to button classes i have given data toggle i have given and data target okay these four attributes i have just pasted inside this anchor tag whenever i hover on this i will be getting this id and when i click on this i will be getting this model so once this model opens i will be having this okay this will be printed are you sure you want to delete this one below i am having two buttons no and yes when i click on no button i will be redirected to same file index.php view brands but when i click on yes you can see here this particular variable we are having okay this file and here i am having this id so what happens once this delete branch is active i'll just come to index.php i'll just show you you can see once the deletes brand is active i will be redirected to delete file okay this file and inside this delete branch i'll just come to delete branch inside this delete branch we have already written the entire code to deleting the branch okay as soon as i click on yes it will be redirected this okay this file will be included and whatever code we have written here that will be executed okay in the same way whatever we have done here let me just come to view brands whatever we have done for view brands the same code you can add in view categories you can add for products okay before deleting any item if you want that confirmation message you can just do that one again i'll come i'll refresh this one okay now below you can see here i'm having alahabadi i'll just click on delete if i click on no the data will not be deleted again i'll click if i click on yes you can see brand has been deleted successfully okay now you can see that allahabadi has been deleted okay this is how we are going to work with data if you are still getting confused what we have done then no problem you can use jquery there are plenty and plenty of ways to delete the data and to add confirmation message okay this is the simple way of adding this is very simple way of adding it's not like you have to follow this one you can use your own logic you can give jquery you can ajax okay whatever you want you can use and you can bring that confirmation box and you can write the code in your way okay we have added the simple confirmation box and from next session we are going to see all orders all payments okay list users everything we are going to see and this deleting you have to remember whenever you are deleting items you should be adding confirmation box or else the valuable data will be deleted okay that is the reason i have given you challenge if you were able to do then well and good if you didn't get how to do then you can follow this simple process later on you can explore this concepts and you can put more logic into this and you can create your own designs okay that's all for today's tutorial thank you for listening have a great day